Choir, just say, my God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move. He can move mountains. Keeps me in the valley. Keeps me in the valley. He'll hide me from hide the rain. Come on and say, my God is awesome. Forevermore. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He is me when I'm broken. Just praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Come on and say, My God is awesome. My God is awesome. Come on and testify. Oh, 
indeed a joy to be here to worship the Lord with you today. And I want to share with you from Job chapter 1, reading verses 20 through to 22. Job chapter 1, verses 20 to 22. And it reads thus. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. One just Lord and our Savior, I worship and adore you today. I give glory and honor unto your wonderful name. And Lord, it is the desire, the delight of my heart today to declare in this great congregation that there is no God like Jehovah. And so we worship you, we adore you, and we give glory to you. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that the anointing that makes preaching powerful and effective will rest on my life as I share your word today. It is my prayer, O oh God, that everyone in the reach of my voice will come under the anointing and influence of your spirit. We pray that your children will be delivered, they will be anointed, they will be uplifted, and your name will be glorified, because you're Lord, and there is indeed none like unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. I share with you on the theme today, ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. According to the text, Job was a righteous man. But in the midst of all that, he was a very troubled man. He had many sorrows. Many of God's children are the subjects of tender mercies. Many of God's children are the subjects of tender feelings. And when they have to endure the rod, they feel its painful strokes. Job felt the blows of hell as they landed on him mentally, physically, materially, psychologically, and most of all, spiritually. I want to say to you today, brothers and sisters, do not blame yourself if you are conscious of pain and grief. And do not allow it to make you hard and callous. To me, there is power in your pain. Every single experience that a child of God has there is a message therein. No experience that you have as a child of God is wasted. And some of you right now are in the midst of your training. And you are wondering what in the heavens is happening to me. The grace of God works in us to make us strong. In the midst of our trials. And when we are tried. Trials teaches us to be resilient. It teaches us patience. Endurance. It teaches us submission. And takes us to a higher place. In almighty God. There is indeed transformative power 
in our pain. And we feel and we benefit by the feeling. And there is no sin in the feeling because our text, in our text, we are expressly told that in all of Job's mourning, in all of his tribulations, he sinned not, neither did he charge God foolishly. Job could easily be called the chief mourner of scripture. Yet in the midst of his sorrow, he had a relationship with Almighty God. In the midst of his heartache and pain, he found reasons to praise Almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And there are some of you in the reach of my voice who will never cry when God chastises you. And some of you will not yield when God strikes you. And I want to say today, I do not want to be like you. I am quite content to have a suffering heart and to feel the bitterness of spirit, the anguish of soul, which rock the holy man of God. Because I know that storms don't last forever. Hallelujah. Your storm will not outlast you, child of God. And I want to say to somebody today, you will not go under. Because underneath, are the everlasting arms. And more than that, you are carrying precious cargo. Hallelujah. And he who dwells within you is the all-powerful God. Hallelujah. And for you to go under as a child of God, then God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost will have to go under as well. And they will never go under. Can I tell somebody right now, greater is he. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Somebody better shout hallelujah in this sanctuary. Somebody better give God some praise. Glory to God. Furthermore, Job made use of the manifest signs of mourning. He did not only felt sorrow within his heart, but he expressed it externally. By rending his mantle, shaving his head, and falling prostrate on the ground as if he wanted to return to the womb of Mother Earth from whence he originally came. And right now I'm having a vision of Job. A difficult time, difficult time. But Job knew God. We should not. Judge our brothers and sisters who are wearing the common garment of mourning because it gives them some kind of solace in their sorrow and strengthens the bars of their faith and assures them that storms don't last forever. You should never be quick to pass sentence on your struggling brother or sister. And I notice that Job in the midst of his trials, in the midst of the worst period in his life, his friends came along. And for three days, they sat in silence. Not a single word. And when their mouths were finally opened, they were now accusing the man of God of secret sin. 
The charges were so well framed and delivered. All Job could do was to turn his eyes to heaven and to declare, my weakness is in heaven and my record is on high. In other words, God be my judge. And many of the things that you're going through right now, the devil has nothing to do with it. Can I tell somebody, many of the things you're going through right now, the devil has nothing to do with it. It is as a result of the prayers that you have been praying. Remember, it is you who have been fasting and praying for God to take you to another level spiritually. It is you who have been seeking the face of God for a double portion of his anointing. It is you who have been travailing in the presence of God to take you to another place in his awesome presence. And I must say to you today that God will not just put you on a trampolina and booms you up there. He's going to take you to the process. Hallelujah. Some will go through the fire. Some will go through the flood. Some will go through the water. But God will never hurt you. Oh, just turn around and tell somebody, God has your best interest at heart. Oh, that somebody would praise God here. Oh, that somebody would give God some glory. I don't know what is happening to me, but I'm still going to praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, Job moved towards, I'm sorry, Jesus moved towards the mourners in a funeral procession. And stop the procession. For the mother and the crowd of mourners, the storm was immediately over. Hallelujah. And I don't know what's the cause of your mourning today, but this is the last day you will shed that bitter tear. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is not walking away from your situation. Jesus is confronting your situation. Hallelujah. 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 He has power. And because you're a child of God, he's going to see you through. Can somebody praise God here today? Can somebody give God some glory? I read of a young man in the Bible who was in the midst of a storm. I don't know what happened to him mentally, but he was now living in the tombs of the Gadarenes. And the Bible said that he cried secretly. There are some of you right now, you have mastered the ability to wear a smile on your face. But you are crying in secret. Yes, the bitter tears fall when you are in secret. But I'm here to tell somebody today that storms don't last forever. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Storms don't last forever. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is on his way. And there's going to be a difference in your life. You will never, ever be the same again because of the manifest power of Almighty God. I don't know how he did it, but when he saw the boat with Jesus coming, the Bible tells me that he ran and fell down and worshiped Almighty God. And some of us right now are craving for a breakthrough, but we are not prepared to worship God. And guess what? You are in your right mind. You are sensible. You are intelligent. You don't live in any tombs. And until you reach the point in your life where you decide you're going to worship God, you're going to glorify God, deliverance will just be a dream. We need some persons to break through in awesome worship and to give God the glory. It doesn't really matter who is sitting beside you. It doesn't matter who is looking at you. You are the one with the problem. You have a need. Hallelujah. And it is you who must open your mouth and call on the name of Jesus Christ because he's still a miracle working God. Can somebody pray? Praise him. And somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus came. Spoke to the demons. Drove them out. And a storm was over. The last time I read about him, he was seated at the feet of Jesus, clothed in his right mind. Not only was he clothed in his right mind, but he was ready to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Can I invite somebody to stand in this sanctuary and just give Master God some praise? some praise exalt the name of Jesus I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to be loose I command you upon the authority of the word of God to be delivered right now from demon possession this is the last day the last moment of your storm your storm is over because Jesus has come Jesus is in the sanctuary somebody shout hallelujah somebody 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 shout hallelujah The chains are falling. The chains are falling. Oh, hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Oh, Bishop. I need to somebody to help me to silence hell. We want to shut up hell. Shut up hell with your hallelujah. Shut up hell with your worship. Shut up hell with your praise. Tear down. Tear down the world of darkness. Yes, shut up and shut down. Shut down the powers of hell with your praise. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Loose in the name of Jesus the storm is over the storm is over hallelujah hallelujah 
I bind the storm I shut it down in the name of Jesus Maybe seated if you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. Yes. 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 Storms don't last forever. Glory. Raise that right hand and receive your miracle. Receive a miracle by faith. Oh, strengthen the bars of her faith. Strengthen her faith, oh Lord. Strengthen her faith, oh God, to receive from you right now in the name of Jesus. the son of God is in the sanctuary you'll never be the same again yes sir the woman with the issue of blood was healed when Jesus was passing through. But Bishop, Jesus not passing through today. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is tabernacling here. Oh Lord God, he's not passing through. He's tabernacling here. The God you serve is right here, right now, to meet your needs. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything that is impossible with God? God, this poor man cried. This poor woman is crying. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. By the power of God. Yeah. brother at the gate beautiful hallelujah his storm was over when Peter and John came to the gate beautiful can I tell somebody something you have been using the same formula for too long and you are getting the same results somebody's gonna mess that up today I'm begging you for something I'm asking you for silver 
And do you have any gold in this place can give me? Well, Peter and John said, we don't have silver. We don't have gold. But what we have is far better than silver and gold. In the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus, the delivering name of Jesus, rise up, not tomorrow, not next week, rise up now, hallelujah, and be delivered. Your storm has been broken. Your storm is over. Somebody declare it and receive it in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah in the sanctuary. Oh yes, 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 yes. Somebody needs to rise in the house, run and jump and leap and praise God because your storm is over. Lord God Almighty, when Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes the gloom and fills the life with glory. All, all, all is changed when Jesus comes to stay you still want to praise him you still want to praise God Bishop I was reading the word some time ago and God led me into New Avenue. He said, son, you have read over and over. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Ask and you shall receive. But you have not been seeking right. You have not been asking right. You have not been knocking right. And you know, said God, me, God, now in a fasting and prayer. Because God has to tell me what it means. Oh, somebody help me here today. God has to tell me, oh, what does it mean to seek? And so I started seeking the face of God. Hallelujah. And I'm told in the word of God that he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Can somebody praise God? So the nature of my prayer changed. I preached one Sunday morning, made the altar call. When I made the altar call, I saw some men coming through with a woman in her hand that was just like skin and bone. I went over and I said, what, what's happening? They said, we are just taking her from the hospital. She has been discharged. Cancer has eaten out her body. And the doctor said, we can't help anymore. Take her home. But they took her to the house of the God. I laid my hand on her and asked the believers to help me believe God. We prayed for her. The Thursday we got a call, she was completely healed. Every cell of cancer died in her body. Her storm was over. Her storm was over. Her storm was over. Can somebody praise God? sister was slated for high surgery 
said, Pastor, I'm going to do surgery on Thursday. I'm asking you to pray for me. I laid my hand on her and I prayed for her. Nothing happened Sunday. Nothing happened Wednesday. Nothing happened Thursday. I'm sorry. Thursday, she goes to the doctor for her to get the surgery done. She said, Pastor, while I was waiting to go into the operating theater, I felt my high start spinning and burning me. It burns. And when I went into theater, they examined my high and said, I'm completely healed and completely delivered. God still worked miracles. God still worked miracles. You don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. It's going to happen. Your storm will be over. A few weeks ago, I was still preaching, made the altar call. And after everybody went back to their seat, there was a mother standing on the altar with a beautiful little baby girl in her hand. And I looked on her face, Pastor, and I saw her distress. So I went down there and I said, what is happening? She said, the baby is born with a heart disease. And right away I felt compassion in my heart. This baby is too young to have such a big disease. So I asked the brethren again to stand with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just as I was about to pray, the Holy Spirit said to me, this new baby needs a new heart. Lord God Almighty. So I told the congregation what God said to me. And we prayed in that direction. A few weeks later, they took the baby for examination and to get medication. When they got there, the doctor told them the baby is completely delivered. The heart is perfect. But until now, doctor don't know. So that the baby gets a new heart. The new baby got a new heart. Can somebody praise God? Well, well, well. I must ask you a question now. Is there anything too hard for God? Is your situation above the ability of God? Can't God do it for you today? Oh, your storm, your storm will be over because God is still powerful. Somebody, somebody shout hallelujah. I feel the touch of the hand of God. I feel the touch of the hand of God. Be healed. Be healed. Receive your miracle. Storms, I cancel you. Storm, I cancel you. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is my firm conviction that Jesus is speaking to the raging storm in your life right now. Yes. Family storm. Marriage storm. Workplace storm. Church storm. Uh, in the name of Jesus. I shut you down. In the name of Jesus, I shut you down. Can I ask you just to stand with me and give him what he deserves? Give him what he deserves. Give him what he deserves. Give God. Give God what he deserves. He deserves praise. Worship him. Adore him. Your midnight is over. 
It's time to celebrate the breaking of the new day. Yesterday is your last day in bondage. Shout for joy. Shout it's over. Shout it's over. Shout it's over. Stand with me for a while, please. Many years ago, Johnny Nash had a song that says, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark days that had me blind. It's going to be a bright, 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 bright sunshine a day. Oh yes, I can make it now. The pain is gone. All the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is the rainbow I've been praying for. It's going to be a bright... I don't know who I'm talking to right now. But it's going to be a bright, bright sunshine in here. Look all around. There's nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead. There's nothing but blue skies. Can I have a witness in the house of the Lord? Can I have a witness in the house of the Lord? must be observed that when Job rented the mantle after the oriental custom and shaved his head he fell on the ground and worshipped God worshipping God in the midst of your situation is critical for your deliverance and I told my congregation, you don't have to feel the anointing to worship God. But once you begin to worship God, the anointing, the anointing, the anointing is going to come. Pastor, some of the worst days in my life, when I'm in my corner trying to worship God, all that can come from my mouth is holly. 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 Ali. Ali. But I hold on to my Ali. 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 And I stretch it out. And little by little, Ali changes into hallelujah. Hallelujah changes into glory to God. And before you know it, my closet is filled with the presence of God. Oh, somebody, somebody, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Worship God in the midst of your storm. When grief presses you and you're under your juniper tree, remember that God has not forgotten you. Help me preach and tell two people, God has not forgotten you. Come on, turn around and tell somebody else, God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. When your grief presses you in the midnight hour of despair, just worship God. Find a holly, find a holly, find a hallelujah, and praise God.
Paul and Silas were in maximum security prison. And in the midnight hour, they started to praise God. They started to worship God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody is going to have a jailbreak today. Uh, somebody's gonna have a jailbreak oh the power the power the power of God is about to shake your situation somebody praise him somebody give him praise there's gonna be a jailbreak a jailbreak and power of faith if somebody praise God your chains are broken the chains are fallen in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus loose 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 sit for a moment if you can please when grief presses you and you're, you're in your Gethsemane present to God on your knees your strong cry because tears is a language that God understands sometimes you have to burn your belly and ball Husband doesn't know, wife doesn't know, pastor doesn't know, best friend doesn't know. It's a dark moment. You have to burn your belly and ball. Hallelujah. 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 Naked came I out of my mother's womb. And naked I shall return thither. Storms don't last forever. Hallelujah. 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 And I close by saying to somebody today, though the back may be hot, and the conflict show. The rugged road. As you travel along. Hold on a little longer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I beg you. Hold on a little longer. Don't forget now, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. As you travel along, hold on. Take Jesus and his word. He'll carry you through, right through to the promised land. And I hear somebody singing in my spirit. All the way my Savior leads me. What have I 
to ask me, sir, can I die? Is then the mercies who through life has been my God? Heavenly peace, divine has comfort here by faith in thee to dwell for I know what here befalls me Jesus do it all things well for I know what here befalls me Jesus do it all Along the way of life are many foes that daily war against my soul. But constant victory my Savior gives to me as I press onto the goal. I'm on the winning side. I'm on the winning side. I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Though heart may be the fray, my soul can boldly say, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. The battle may be long and hard to win, and Satan owes may press me sore. But though I may be tired, I'm on the winning side, I shall triumph evermore. With courage in my soul, I'll do my part. For Jesus, I will loyal stand. So on the winning side, triumphant I abide. With the faithful holy band. Don't give up now. Just ride out your storm. Yes, you I'm talking to. You have been through many storms before. And it seemed like forever. Your nights of confusion has been too long. And your ship has lost anchor. And the storms got you drifting. Just hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. And ride out your storm. Help me now. Tell somebody. Hold on to Jesus. And ride out your storm. Hold on to Jesus. And ride out your storm. Some of you. Have been through hell. But here you are today. Praising God. By the design of man, you should be, have been buried in a shallow grave somewhere. But here you are today in the house of the Lord, praising God. By the design of man, you should be feeding from the garbage, but God covered your mind. Here you are today, praising God. Here you are today, praising God. They said you could not make it. They say you could not do it. But you have done it. You are now the head and not the tail. Ride out your storm, brother. Ride out your storm. God is here with you. You may not feel him. But you are not alone. You are hurting now. But your morning has just come. Hold on to Jesus. Ride out your storm. Remember his promise. He said he'll never forsake you. Though the waters are troubled. They'll do you no harm. Give up. Don't give up the battle. Or your answer is coming. Hold on to Jesus. Ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. God is there with you. You may not feel it, but you are not alone. You are acting now, 
but your morning is coming hold on to Jesus I feel in my spirit that God is healing somebody right now of painful memories God is healing somebody of painful memories be healed you'll never be the same again you'll be able to sleep well now you'll be able to have your meal you'll be able to put on a few pounds now hallelujah because God has just healed you of painful memories somebody receive your healing receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ you will not go under because you are carrying precious cargo I want to pray with somebody else if you would meet me on the altar would you meet me on the altar I want to pray with somebody else it has been a long time the storm has been raging but it's broken now a new day for you has dawned oh if you lift your right hand God will touch you just lift your right hand by faith and let God touch you right where you are right in your circumstances it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken it's broken I'm shutting it down I'm shutting it down in the name of Jesus your storm has been broken your storm is over you can rejoice now you can sing the songs of Zion again you can begin to worship God receive it O Holy Ghost receive a fresh anointing hey, in the name of Jesus hey, in the name of Jesus one more anointing for the challenge Spirit of God Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Blessed Holy Ghost We worship you Loose 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 Yes I loose you In the name of Jesus Receive your miracle now Receive your miracle. The night is over. The day is done. Oh, touching Jesus is all that really matters. And your life will never be the same. There is only one way to touch him just believe when you call on his name come on help yourself touching jesus is all that really matters and your life will never be the same there is only one way to touch him. Just believe when you call on his name. For you, I am praying for
Touch me again, Lord. Touch me again, Lord. This moment I feel like a fresh touch. I need oh, touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. I need you. I need every hour. find the way without you, dear Lord, look out from your throne, I need your light to shine Miracle work in God. Father, we look to you today on behalf of your children. Many, oh God, are experiencing turbulence of this moment. But oh, you are the one who preserves. And so I ask in the name of Jesus that you will preserve your children. Help them, oh God, that the enemies will never say, ha ha, so would I have it. Help them, oh God, that the enemy will never celebrate their demise. Oh, raise them up, raise them up, raise them up like a mighty army. Raise them up with power. Raise them up with strength. Raise them up unto victory in the name of Jesus. Let the power of your anointing rest upon their lives heal every broken life every broken heart in the name of Jesus and I pray that your children will be like the trees that are planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth its fruit in its season help oh God that whatsoever they do they will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Breathe on your people right now, Lord. Breathe on your people, Jehovah God. Oh, breathe on us, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the storm is over. Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Saturate it. Saturate it. Saturate it. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Glory to Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. Those who are seated, if you can stand, just stand up in His presence. God is making deposits. Precious Jesus. Jesus. Your ship has lost. Yes, you can. You will. Storms will not last. In the name of Jesus. God is there with you. Oh my God. up your neighbors and come on encourage somebody encourage somebody hallelujah God is there with you you're not alone in your battle thank you Jesus you may not feel it oh no you're not alone you're not alone Encourage your brother. Hold on. Hold on. We pin me into a for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Sing it one more time, everybody. your neighbors and and begin to praise God hallelujah 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 ride out you rockled on ride out your you rockled on no man's life shall be lost for the Holy Ghost send the word you shall land safely on the other side the storm will subside glory to god thank you jesus father we thank you for the move of the holy spirit 
We thank you for the wave of your anointing. Penetrate this congregation. Penetrate to the hear waves at home and abroad. We thank you for the lives that have been touched, oh God. And every person who God Almighty found himself in the midst of a storm-like situation. You have assured us in your word, God, that you will see us through. Thank you for those you have healed. Thank you for those you have saved. Thank you for those you have delivered. Thank you for those who courage has arisen in them right now. Thank you for those who have been strengthened. Thank you for the backsliders reclaimed. And the saints anointed and strengthened. To ride out every storm. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the vessel that you have used, oh God. Continue to fill and fill and refill that vessel. To continue to pour out in your people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Give him another note of praise. Come on.